Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the center of the field as we recognize those boys participating in the Upper St. Clair Recreation and Travel Soccer programs. Please welcome the under six age group. Teams are coached by Brett Pitcairn, Chris Kashuk, Conrad Howe, David Sawyer, Eric Bowner, Howard Ginsburg, Jay Allman, Jeff Manning, Amanda Manning, Paul Mannix, Paula Ori, Pete Eberhardt, Peter Hall, PJ Derubis, Scott Bishop, and Steve Levine. Our under eight teams are coached by Jeff Devlin, John Pletcher, Scott Wasson, Bill McNamara, Scott McCollum, Jeff Higgs, Phil Tanner, Phil Bottinari, Andy Shanker, Bob Kerber, and Neil McGonnell. The under eight rec teams are coached by Stu, Stu Cohen, Sundeep Ekbodi, Dave McClintock, Brett Pitcairn, Joe Ralea, Jim Riker, Jamie Geisler, Dennis Grady, Brad Hamill, and Dan Joyce. The under 10 travel teams are coached by Bill Friday, Dave Mandler, and John Mincher. The under 12 rec teams are coached by Don Berlin, Rick Novak, J.R. De La Para, Mike Gleason, Brian Torcas, and Jim Deolius. The coach of the under 12 travel team is Alan Gibson. In the under 14, under 16 recreation division, our coaches are Kevin Luca, Mike Densmore, Jay, uh, Jack Pic Piccolo, Andy Loeb, and Steve Davidson. Our under 13 travel coaches are Steve Davidson and Dan Cuddy. And lastly, the under 14 travel team is coached by Pedro Kyoga. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these boys and dedicated coaches a big round of applause for their hard work and dedication. On behalf of the Upper St. Clair Soccer Boosters, welcome to Varsity Boys Senior Recognition Night. Please direct your attention to the center of the field where we will introduce and honor the senior members of the 2011 Upper St. Clair Varsity Soccer Team. We are very proud of the talent, skill, dedication, hard work, accomplishments, and character each one of these fine young men have exhibited both on and off the soccer field. We would like to begin tonight by recognizing the following high school administrators and athletic department personnel who are in attendance this evening for their continual support of the boys' soccer program. Upper St. Clair Athletic Director, Mr. Matt Mellinger. Upper St. Clair Assistant Athletic Director, Matt, uh, Mr. Matt Martacci. And Upper St. Clair Assistant Athletic Director, Mr. Joe Graceffo. We would also like to recognize and thank the coaching staff for, their, for all their hard work and dedication to their teams. They are head coach Uva Schneider, assistant coach Ryan Schwobel, and junior varsity coach Kevin Kaufman. Before we introduce our Upper St. Clair seniors, we would like to acknowledge the Trinity High School seniors who are providing the competition here this evening. They are Dalton Branzich, Brad Danmead, and Andrew Sams. Our first senior introduction is for outside midfielder Nick Chesko, son of Karen and Henry Chesko. Nick's academic and athletic accomplishments include being a member of Natural Helpers, Junior Mentors, and Athletes Taking Action. He also has participated in the French Exchange Program. Nick is on the varsity volleyball team as well, earning a spot on the 2009 WPIAL All-Section Volleyball Second Team. From 2007 to 2011, he has been on the Pittsburgh Volleyball Club's Junior Olympic team. 
Nick's outside interests include playing the guitar, bass, and the piano. He also enjoys bowling and hanging out with friends. Nick lists his greatest athletic thrill as winning sections two years in a row for volleyball and being a member of the soccer team with 20 of his closest friends. His future plans include attending college. Congratulations, Nick Chesko. Our next senior to be recognized is defender Shane Howe, son of Chad and Phil Howe. Shane's athletic and academic accomplishments include the following, student council, track, jets, and president of the tutoring program. He has also achieved highest honor roll and is a member of the National Honor Society. Shane's outside interests include traveling, playing guitar, lifeguarding, and participating in Appalachian Outreach Ministries. Shane's greatest athletic thrill was winning state cup with his Century United team. His future plans are to study engineering in college. Congratulations, Shane Heil. Our third senior tonight is center midfielder and right back Matthew Kiernan, son of Donna and Joe Kiernan. Matthew's academic and athletic accomplishments include playing six seasons of cup soccer with the Arsenal Football Club. He is also a member of Athletes Taking Action and Ski Club. Matthew enjoys playing softball, basketball, and golf, as well as playing in the Greater Pittsburgh Men's Soccer League. He volunteers his time in the community and is a soccer referee. Matthew lists his greatest athletic thrill as playing soccer at the Yorkshire Cup Tournament. His future plans are to attend college and become a certified physical therapist. Congratulations, Matt Kiernan. Our next senior to be recognized is forward and center back Stephen Mackey, son of Charlene and Tony Mackey. Stephen's academic and athletic achievements include National Honor Society and being on the high honor roll for four years. He is a four-year Upper St. Clair varsity soccer starter as well as a two-year starter for the Cleveland International Soccer Academy. Stephen is also a starter with the Columbus Crew Soccer Academy. He is a two-time Pennsylvania West State Champion a United States Youth Soccer Region 1 champion, and a National Olympic Development Program Final Four participant. Stevens outside interests include golf and softball. His greatest athletic thrill is playing against the country's top soccer players as a member uh, for the Cleveland Internationals. Stevens' future plans are to play Division I soccer on the High Point University men's soccer team. Congratulations, Stephen Mackey. Our next senior is defender, midfielder, Dominic Pizzone, son of Kim and Mike Pizzone. Dominic's academic and athletic achievements include student council, highest honor roll, gifted program, and participating in summer research at the McGowan Institute for Tissue Regeneration. Dominic is also a four-year soccer player with the Olympic Development Program. He is also a member of Athletes Taking Action, Kids Helping Kids, and Ski Club. Dominic's outside interests include roller hockey, supporting Upper St. Clair High School athletic teams, and volunteering at the Birmingham Medical Clinic and the Pittsburgh Food Bank. His greatest athletic thrills are defeating Pennsylvania East in the Olympic Development Program Regional Tournament in 2011 and defeating Peters Township in the Edinburgh Tournament under 12 finals. Dominic's future plans are to attend college and major in biomedical engineering and then on to medical school. Congratulations, Dominic Pizzone. Our next senior is senior captain and midfielder Jesse Poljack. He is the son of Sue and Mark Poljack. Jesse's academic and athletic achievements include student council, National Honor Society, highest honor roll, and passing the Keystone exams. He is also a member of Athletes Taking Action and plays recreational basketball. Jesse's outside interests include playing golf, basketball, and football. He also enjoys spending time with family and friends. Jesse likes attending high school sporting events and playing in fantasy football and baseball leagues. His greatest athletic thrills are playing with last year's seniors and trying to make this season memorable. Jesse's future plans are to attend Penn State University. Congratulations, Jesse Poljack.
Our final senior to be recognized this evening is Senior Captain and Defender Michael Worthy, son of Ellen and Dwight Worthy. Michael's academic and athletic achievements include being a three-year letterman in soccer and a four-year letterman in basketball. He is also on the high honor roll and is a member of Athletes Taking Action. Michael's outside interests are playing golf, tennis, softball, and hanging out with friends and his dog, Grady. His greatest athletic thrills are playing in the WPIAL soccer final his sophomore year and beating Mount Lebanon on their court in basketball. Michael's future plans are to attend college and hopefully play soccer. Congratulations, Michael Worthy. The seniors, the boys varsity soccer team, and the soccer boosters wish to extend their sincere gratitude to all the soccer fans in both the school and community who have supported these young men during the many years in which they have played a sport they love. We would also like to thank all the senior parents this evening for their dedication and commitment to these young men. Special thanks goes out to the boys for all the enjoyment, pride, and lasting memories they have provided. Additionally, we would like to express our sincere appreciation to the presidents of the Upper St. Clair Boys Soccer Boosters, Lisa and Scott Churchill, for all their hard work this year. And finally, thank you to everyone who is in attendance, helping to make this evening such a special affair. And now, go get them, Panthers.
Will everyone please rise now? Gentlemen, remove your hats for the city of our national anthem by Upper St. Louis Juniors, Ellie Blake, and Douglas E. Gregorio. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another broadcast of Upper St. Clair Soccer. Tonight, our Panthers on Senior Night celebrate four years of greatness from such, such a wonderful senior class as the Trinity Hillers come to face our Panthers tonight in, uh, I think, the second-to-last home game of the season. Uh, I'm Gavin Williams. With me is Rob Mertz. And, Rob, the Panthers have been on quite a roll lately uh, as we uh, start to wind down section play. It's really been an excellent season to date. Well, it's been great, and a couple things come to mind. Uh, you know, the Panthers have been able to put themselves in a position tonight to win their first section title, clinch their first section title in seven years. A uh, win tonight will uh, give them that. It doesn't matter what they do Thursday against Peters. So uh, I know they're excited about taking care of business here tonight for that. And another thing is they, they've, they've been able to weather a lot of injuries this year. Um, they've had a lot of key guys out for uh, extended periods of time. And it says a lot about the depth of this team that they've been able to put themselves in this position, even with a lot of key guys out of the lineup. So excited to uh, see them take it to the Hillers tonight. It's been incredibly impressive the way people have really stepped in for some key components who have been out for lengthy periods of time. Uh, and, you know, a lot of that starts with the guys we're honoring this evening, your seniors and your leaders. Uh, we have six seniors starting this uh, soccer match tonight. Uh, we have our, our, our captains, Mike Worthy and Stephen Mackey. We have... Dom Pizone, we have um, let's Jesse, see, Jesse Poljack. Poljack, and we have, who else is RC? Oh, uh, uh, Matt Kiernan. Yeah, uh, this is Steve Mackey's first game back, and I think he's missed five games, four or five games now, so his first game back uh, after uh, suffering concussion, and he's ready to roll, so glad to have him back. Absolutely. Uh, we're also, uh, Zach Chesko has missed a, a good bit of uh, of play lately due to injury. He's had concussion-related issues. It's his senior night as well. Uh, and this, you know, this class deserves a ton of credit for uh, not only keeping the ship together, but putting them in a position to do what they've not done for a long time, win yep. a section championship. Absolutely. We're looking forward to that. Excited to be here tonight. It's a nice night. Rain's supposed to hold off, so let's play some soccer. It's gorgeous. Uh, let's set the scene for you. This is the Panthers in their uh, home white uniforms going from left to right on your screen. The Hillers in their traveling blues going from right to left. Getting a little uh, play here in the center of the field. That was Jesse Poljack, number three, one of our seniors. This ball's going wide, and Jonathan Erdman's going to step up. Nice little touch. This is Stephen Mackey. Now ooh, he gets it through his legs. He tries to turn. Now Erdman has it, and the Panthers doing what they like to do, possess the ball, play simple, play possession game, make the other team chase. Well, and it uh, looks like Coach Schneider has... Uh, came out in the same type of lineup he's been employing for the last uh, month now. Uh, four men across the back, a holding midfielder who's Kevin Muck tonight starting in that position. Uh, three attacking mids, two wings, that's Mackey and Kiernan with Jesse Poljack at the attacking center mid, and then he's got up top Don Pizone and Joel Hart. 
This is Don Pizzone, the senior. Oh, that's a nice little move. He pokes it around it. He's going to catch it. He's got great speed. It's a good center. Here we come in, and we've already got on the board a beautiful little cross. And ladies and gentlemen, that is our first senior goal of this evening, and that is Matt Kiernan with a beautiful run, finishing with his head. A quick one nothing lead for the Panthers. Well, Dom, you're right. Did a nice job to make some space for himself out there on the wing. Got the ball into the center, and Matt just flat out beat his man to the ball. Uh, was more aggressive getting there. Was able to uh, put his head on it and oh. knock, knock it in the far post. That's an excellent near post run. That was good timing, and, and that's senior to senior as the Panthers get on the board first to uh, help celebrate senior night. Really good stuff from Don Pizzone down the wing using that superior s speed. He's done a great job since uh, Coach Schneider has moved him up front. Yeah, I think um, Coach Schneider realized pretty early on the season he had some options at outside back, which uh, is where Dom started the season playing the outside back. Um, there have been several people who have stepped up and played really well out there, so he, that gave him the, uh, the freedom to go ahead and put Dom up top, and Dom brings so much to the table, his skill, uh, his aggressiveness, his toughness, uh, creativity, just and is, is active. He's so active up there. He uh, make, gives the other team fits. Here's a nice run by Muck into the area. He's looking to cross it. He'll pull it back, lay it off for Mackey. Hits it early to Pizzone. He shoots with his left foot Ooh. off the cross or off the post and gathered in by the Trinity goalie. Boy, nice little strike. Pizzone had more more time than he realized when he turned, so he did. He, he took his time, had a nice little bending shot with his left foot just off the bar. Beautiful stuff from Don Pizzone. Also a nice little setup uh, from Muck. Nice win there by Poljak on the header in midfield. Those little things, uh, winning balls off of goal kicks, winning balls off punts, uh, as the season goes on here and we play bigger and more meaningful games, those are the little things that will win games for you. And the Panthers have been increasingly uh, effective at winning those 50-50 balls. Um, Kevin Muck's been outstanding all season. Jesse Poljak, as he stepped back in the midfield, has been excellent. This is a the nice little ball. Is again. Boy, he had, he had two guys there. He had Hart making a run, and then Matt Kiernan again, sort of similar to what we saw from the goal. He made a far post run that time, almost got his head on it. You know, we've talked about this on several of the broadcasts, but one of the things Panthers do very effectively is take the ball, make those outside runs, and then cross the ball inside to, to guys running on. When their timing's on, they're very dangerous in those situations. So here's another reason. Here's another way the Panthers are dangerous. The Long throw-ins of Garrett Blake, and this is uh, no exception here. It is long. It's loose, and Mike Worthy gets his head on it, the senior co-captain center defender, but he heads it over the goal. It will be a Hiller goal kick. Yeah, in fact, uh, on Saturday, this past Saturday, against Erie McDowell, they, uh, they scored the first goal of the game off of a long throw from Garrett. So, as, as again, as time goes on, that becomes more and more dangerous as, as games get tighter and chances from the run of play become few and far between. Those long throws are huge because every time looks like a Hiller player's down, a hit little head-to-head -head contact between Kevin Muck. Uh, but as I was saying, that those long throws, uh, you are guaranteed opportunities in front of the goal even if you're not getting them from the run of play. So it's a huge weapon. Well, we've, we've talked about how in playoff situations and tighter games, uh, a lot of times games are decided on set pieces and throw-ins, and it, the Panthers have proven to be very adept at scoring in those situations and that is a great thing as you move on towards the playoffs and this is a team that expects to make a deep run and with good reason with what we've seen so far absolutely they should uh, they should be tough to beat in the playoffs so the hillers are going to trigger it back in here from their own 40 on the football field it's a bending ball headed straight up in the air muck again aggressively going in it and he does end up winning it good stick to it from muck now pizzone Tries to touch out wide. Poljack's going to control. Burdett plays on the ground to Mackey. This is very nice possession stuff. Looking for the give and go here. Hart back to Mackey. Mackey touches middle. A lot of space for Pizzone. Ooh, nice little ball. Muck touches outside. Mackey will get there. He crosses him over and will force a corner kick. That's a great string of about seven or eight passes in a row, keeping the ball on the ground. That's very advanced, very advanced soccer. Good stuff from the Panthers. Yeah, it was good. The speed of play was good there. Uh, they weren't. They were looking to move the ball and move it quickly. And and they, it's, I like how the way they're spreading the ball between players and sharing it tonight. Yeah, pinging and playing the one two. This is Kiernan. Who is that? Kiernan, Kiernan on the kick and Poljack heads wide of the far post. That'll be a Hiller goal kick. 
Good stuff, though. Panthers were the first guys to get there with their head. That That's the type of thing that bodes well, those 50-50 balls. Uh, Jesse did a good job getting his head on that. He straightens that out. Again, those are great attacking opportunities. I think the Panthers have gotten progressively better on their set pieces as the, as the season has progressed. I don't, thought early in the season you know, they weren't as dangerous as they are now. Well, I think maybe uh, the success they've had with them breeds that, that attitude. Every time they get a set piece, they can sort of smell the blood in the water, and uh, they're attacking them with, with gusto. Yeah, they're, it's a very confident team right now, and again, for good reason. It looks like we have a sub. Do we have an injury? That's a Trinity substitution, yes. Can't see the number. So they trigger it back in play. The Panthers step up and head it back in. That's Matt Kiernan again. This is Joe Hart. He couldn't quite keep it in. It's going to uh, go across the line for a Hiller defensive throw. The, the Panthers, uh, you know, as they head down towards the end of the season, some of these freshmen and sophomores who, you know, were young and inexperienced at the beginning of the season are starting to be more experienced players. And you're starting to see that, especially the back line, uh, you, you have the freshmen that have gotten a lot of time. Uh, there are three freshmen who have gotten a ton of time this year, and that's a huge advantage to have them get so many minutes during the season. Well, it is, and here's Mackey. Wide oh, right, crosses for Hart. Oh, and Hart just puts it wide of the far post. Looks like he was uh, he was tangled up with the defender there as he made that run to mid-goal. Uh, but that was a great ball by Mackey. Just slid across on the ground, just inviting someone to come in and, and hit it. And uh, Joel did that, but just uh, just couldn't quite get it on target. Yeah, I think he got it with his like le the, the toe of his left foot. But uh, really, that's a dangerous opportunity. You love that low ball if you can get a through ball. It's easier for the onrusher to play, and that was really dangerous. Here's Worthy here. He's going to push into the attack now. Muck touching wide to Pizone. Jonathan Erdman. Ooh, little boy, nice one time ball. Worthy is still running up. Mike's pushing Gets forward. The ball on the end line. Yeah. Should be a corner, and it is. I'm sure you'll see Matt Kiernan come over and take this again. Well, I, I, I'm not going to claim that's a tactic necessarily uh, was practiced or anything, but Mike, it is his senior night. He's looking to push forward and maybe get, in, get onto the score sheet. Everybody wants to remember when their senior night. Absolutely. Why not? It's their night. So Matty Kiernan going to put it back into play. Well, this is a beauty. It's loose. Oh, goalie does a nice job coming well, off his line. Yeah, well played by the Trinity keeper. Come out and snag that one. It's Oh, we got a replay here. You can see Matt struck that well, but uh, not quite far enough out. Ideally, you want to get that ball in what they call the second six between the six-yard line and the penalty dot just so that the goalie can't come out and do what he did there no so. and they hey, give the trinity goalie credit he got off his line aggressively and uh you know came out and, and corralled it so here are the hillers possessing it going to try to play a little possession game themselves make the panthers do some of the chasing pizone well, they're really in this game tonight as we've seen here early and will continue to be there is no reason for uh, the Panthers to be speculating on on balls, they can. Oh, nice shot by Muck there. Um, they can uh, they can possess the ball all night, pass and move on these guys without too much of a problem. I want to say one thing about Kevin Muck. That shot he just took there, the midfield. He he is has a propensity to step up and hit those 30, 40 yard shots, and. Um, I think before the season is out, we're going to see him connect on one of those and hopefully in a really big situation. Well, that was just unfortunate. He just happened to hit somebody. He got great contact on that. I always think that ball is very difficult, half volley and a ball bouncing, but he does it well. Oh, this is struck. He sort of mishit it, and it goes wide to the right, but you can sort of see there, you can at least get the idea. Kevin Mock has a, a really excellent shot. He strikes the ball low, and he strikes the ball hard, and you're right, that th those are dangerous going forward. Yeah, and as, as you go on, and, and the weather gets worse, and, and it gets tougher for the goalies when it's cold out and it's wet, and, uh, and you know you need to be able to put the ball in the net, and he's he's done that consistently all year. I, I think sooner or later he's gonna he's gonna score a big one for us there. This is Mackey on the right. He'll shield this. That's a foul on the Trinity player. It'll be a free kick for St. Clair. Mackey will take. Serves it early for Hart. Headed away by the Trinity defender. 
And that's unfortunately, Matty Kiernan ran in really hard and uh, made contact. It will be a foul on him. I thought Steven, uh, although he played a good ball, was a, a really quick restart. I'm not sure all the Panther attackers were even ready for that. Yeah, it looked, looked like they hadn't had a chance to collect their wits yet. Yeah, get their bearings. <laughs> all right, so we've got, we're just over 10 minutes into this one. The Panthers lead one to nothing on an early goal from senior Matt Kiernan and uh, have definitely controlled the flow of play so far. This being no exception, doing a good job in the midfield, and Matt Kiernan will draw a foul. Good shielding ability. Very, very tough stuff on him with his back back turned, uh, trying to play to a teammate, and they're going to quick restart here. This is Muck. Ooh, he's dispossessed. Here come the Hillers. This is the first uh, sustained possession from the Hillers, and uh, they're going to get a throw here, looking to uh, even it up. Good job. Muck wins that. He's coming forward here. He's coming with speed. He's got a little space. Got by the first guy. Looking for Pizone with that little ball. Look at Don Pizone with that speed. Just pressuring the defender. Forces a deep throw and good uh, effort from Pizone. Again, I've seen it is in past games. Uh, love to see Steve get the ball at his feet and just run at some defenders. Uh, he, more, has more than enough ability to to beat defenders off the dribble. Um, like to see him do that some more tonight. And again, why not senior night? <laughs> Go for it, right? Panthers leading one nothing. 28 minutes remaining in the first half. Erdman with a hard tackle. He got all ball first, so no call or anything. West does a nice job. West Burdett. Junior co-captain steps up, wins that ball. They play it right back in. Joe Conlon, sometimes I, I applaud Joe for really being aggressive there. Sometimes when you don't get much action early on in the game, you sort of get lulled. Mm -hmm. Joe was quick off his line there, aggressive, and got that easy. Well, it's, you know, we, we talk about uh, the field players a lot, but let's give some credit to Joe. He's done a fantastic job this year. Um, in fact, when I, when I think back this season, um, to some of the moments that have led us to where we are right now, which is on the, the verge of a section title. Um, you think about Wes Burdett's last second goal to beat Cannon Mack at home here. You think about Jesse Poljak's strike to beat um, Chartres Valley. Chartres Valley. You think about Ethan Dysart scoring in double overtime to beat Peters. Um, and one of the moments that uh, might go unnoticed, but in that Cannon Mack game at Cannon Mack a couple weeks ago, uh, they, uh, Cannon Mack had a free kick from 20 yards out. They took it early because the ref didn't blow his whistle. And we weren't ready. Our wall wasn't ready. Joe was on the right post, and the ball got struck to the left post, and it was going in. He made an unbelievable save to get across the goal mouth and parry the ball wide. Uh, that ball goes in. Most likely we're not sitting here tonight. We're, we're, we're going to get to go all the way down to the wire on Thursday night with Peter. So got to give him some credit for uh, – for that one it's one of those things so you want to be a goalie you know you, you're always the guy who gets blamed you never get any love joe's done a really excellent job this season all right so we've got a uh, a set piece here for the panthers and this is west burdett taking it number four he lofts it up he's got a man running on again the trinity goalie comes out off his line it was a little deep and he corrals it no juggle or anything and we'll punt it away here it's touched back now back to west Oh, Steven with a little back heel. He's going to get a throw. He tried to play it by him with a back heel and almost did so. Nice little move, show of skill. It's youth night here at Upper St. Clair, so good crowd in attendance. A lot of the younger soccer players from the community are here tonight watching the, the older boys go at it. That's fantastic. That's how we perpetuate success. That's what you like to see, the future of Panther soccer, and I think the future is bright just judging by what I see out on this field tonight. A lot of underclassmen really playing well. This is this is Muck. He's battling it. Now over to Poljack. Poljack steps in. Pizone touches wide. Hart has it. Trying to play a little through ball to Mackey. Mackey's got a lot of guys on him here. And dispossessed. The Hillers will look to counter. Erdman steps up and, and uh, well, I guess he didn't touch it. Just played out of bounds. It will be a Panther throw. It was good aggression by his part to sort of corral any chance at a counter. Okay, now the ref's going to overrule him and say there was a touch. I, I thought so. 
That'll be a Trinity throw near midfield. But little plays like that where you get allow your defense to have numbers back, don't allow giving up anything on a counter. I, I really like the aggression there. Touches back. Once again, Panthers possessing. Panthers could use to maybe play a little bit more simple here. I think they're getting a little too grandiose with some of their touches. Play the simple square ball, make them chase, and a gradual right. build up. They'll, if, they, if they are patient and build their tack, they'll break them down all night long. There's no need to uh, play the speculative balls for just be simple, pass and move, get it, give it, and and it'll happen for them, no doubt. Yeah, and they, if, if there's one criticism you could levy uh, of this team at times this year is that. Um, sometimes they have gotten frustrated and haven't let that build up be as gradual. When they play the simple ball, typically they've been better in terms of creating and generating scoring opportunities. Good head there by Hart. This is Pizone running on. He's got a man streaking left. Boy, that was a nice play by the Trinity defender. He had Mackey running wide open to play that ball. Kevin Muck, as usual, winning those balls, keeping the pressure on. Little stop and go. Touches wide. He's going to try to make a corner run. Mackey's looking for him. He does so. He's on sides. This is Muck. Oh, great touch to the middle. That's beautiful well stuff. We got our second goal of this evening. It was just a beautiful little touch from Mackey to, to uh, Muck. And Muck, great centering ball low. And Joel Hart gets the goal. Panthers lead 2-0. Made no mistake there. Uh, I thought Steve Mackey did a nice job of just putting his foot on top of that ball and changing the pace. We're going to have a replay here. Yeah, I mean, you can see it. Joel Hart is making, he's making a, a, a really good run here, and that's sort of one of the things you got to see is that you got a diverse number of runs. you got a far post run and near post run with numbers. And so as you're going to be able to see on the replay here. Now we're back to we're live. Ba okay, we're ba it's all right. It's, we're back to live, um, but... You had two guys making the run there. You had a far post run, and the defender went over because the far post run was sort of the first run, and then Hart came in as a secondary run and came in a near post, beat his guy, and just had a tap in. Yeah, again, very very similar to the first goal. Uh, that ball was slotted across on the ground, really inviting him to put it in. And you like to see the generating of numbers forward in the attack, too. And that's what happens with a gradual buildup. With the real quick buildup, sometimes there's not enough time to get numbers forward to play those crosses. When your buildup is gradual, like it was there for the Panthers, plenty of time to get numbers forward, some good runs, and a really nice last ball in the final third. Just like that, the Panthers with a 2 nothing lead here. As we are, uh, we got about 22 and a half here left in the first half. You obviously want to try to get as many seniors on the board as you can. And we have a, a Panther sub here, at least one. Rob Mertz is into the game. Uh, yeah, we've got Robbie Mertz and Ethan Dysert is in. This is Ethan's first action in quite a while, so good to see him back. John Gertunka is in, and as is uh, Troy Kiernan. I didn't even know uh, Ethan was back. That's great to see. Uh, he's really been an excellent goal scorer and facilitator for the Panthers this year. I think he wants to, uh, wants to get some action before the, the Peters game on Thursday night, get in a game and test out. He's had a problem with his hip, so... He isn't going to miss it after last time, being the hero. Uh, he was playing so well up until the point he got hurt. He, uh, the week before he left, he had two game-winning goals and, uh, and a hat trick against <laughs> Trinity last time. Yes. So. All right, so this is Matt Kiernan, I believe. And he tried to touch wide. Could not do so. It will be a Hiller throw. And it's played way up in the air here. Again, St. Clair be well served. Just put this ball on the floor. Be patient. Take their time. That's going to go for a uh, throw in for the Panthers. He went long. We didn't really read it well, but here comes Dom. Making every ball an adventure. The goalie is out. He touches back. This is Robbie Martz. Little crossover move. Gets tripped up. Going to play possession. Now nope, they're going to call him the second trip. <laughs> trip on either Robbie or Dom. Not sure. See where he places this ball. Is this Troy Kiernan coming up to take this? This is the far side of the field. This it's is Mike Worthy. Mike Worthy going to take this kick. He'll need to get his 10 yards from the wall, the three-man wall that the Hillers are putting up. It's, it's very difficult for me to see across the field, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. It's a, lo it's a long look. <laughs> so here's Mikey. He's going to hit it with his right foot. It's low, it's bending, it's touched. Yes. I believe that's uh, Robbie Mertz. They're going to call that offsides. 
Yeah, Robbie Mertz finished that ball, but the referee is calling him offsides. Don't know. We'll have to maybe maybe have a camera angle that'll <laughs> that'll show that. Unfortunately, here's here's the replay. It was a it was a beautiful little flick. I don't think we have an angle that's even going to be close to, to showing that, but um, it was a nice ball. It was low. It got through, and Robbie did a nice job flicking that off the side of his foot with uh, some authority. The goalie had no chance, but uh, unfortunately, offsides was called, yeah, negating it. It was a nice finish. It, it looked to me as if that ball had been played when Robbie cut in on that run, so whatever. The ref, <laughs> the ref had the angle. He made his call, so on we go here. That's Dysert. Ooh, nice little touch. Pizone to the end line. Keeps the ball in. It was good aggression from Dom. Even though he's going to get called for a foul, he went in and played the ball hard. And, and you know, it, when you have the ball that deep in the opponent's territory, you go for that ball regardless. So that's a foul you'd be willing to take every single time. All right, so let's see if the Panthers can pin him back down deep here. The Panthers done a good job winning that first ball, whether it be off a goal kick or a situation like that, to keep the pressure up. It's so important in any game you play uh, to be first to the ball, to win the 50-50 balls. That's Dicer with a left-footed effort from 25 yards out. That's one of his first touches. Ethan's going to uh, take a little time to get back. He's so dangerous, and uh, it's, it's just good to see him out there get some touches on. Yeah, we're going to need... We're going to need all, all our injured players to, to be healthy here. We're going to hopefully, like you said, make a deep run, and we're going to need need all our talent and bodies that we have. So. All hands on deck. Yep. Now that's what I like to see. Touching back, nice, simple ball. Good ball back from Burdett. Looking for a through ball. Kertunk is on. He's going to the end line. Crosses in. That's hit over the end line for a Panther corner kick. That was a good ball by Kevin Muck, a, a little through ball, kept it on the ground. John Gertunka, who has some speed up that flank, did a good job turning it, keeping it in, and drawing a Panther corner kick. Coming back into the game, senior Jesse Poljak uh, giving way will be Dom Pizone. Uh, Ethan Dysart will take this corner kick. Playing it low. Ball driven low. Poljak couldn't get a foot on it. Cleared wide. Trinity keeps it in. Plays to midfield. Erdman well defended by Erdman. Not going to let his man turn. Wins the ball and goes forward down the right flank. Erdman still on it. This is quite Wins a run. It, getting to the end line and forces the Trinity defender to kick the ball out of bounds for a St. Clair throw and taken quickly to Gertunka. He's knocked off the ball and that'll be a free kick for the Panthers. About 15 yards out on the right flank. Worthy will come up to take this again. Let's see if we can do the same thing <laughs> yeah, we did the other time, except stay on sides. Tactically from the Hillers, you hate to give give up a, a, a set piece this deep. Um, it's not a dangerous from there. You don't want to foul here. Nice little ball from Worthy. Just over Robbie Mertz's head coming on. Oh, that was drilled. Oh, just <laughs> wide. There's that shot from Muck coming in 20, 25 yards out. He kept that well low. In fact, it was skipping off the ground just wide of the far post. So. That's uh, that's bound to connect sooner or later for Kevin Muck. Yeah, on cue after you discuss that, I, I do want to point out for the, those of you who, uh, you know, maybe a more casual fan, keeping the ball low and hitting it that hard is difficult. See, there it is. See how he keeps the ball down when it's rolling at you. It is really difficult to keep that ball low, and when you do, if you hit it that hard and low, it is impossible for goalies to get down, especially the taller, you know, more conventional today's goalies. You can see on that replay how Kevin, Kevin kept his knee and his chest over top of the ball to be able to keep the ball down below the crossbar. Yeah, Jesse collects the ball, but he'll get called for a push on Trinity Defender. Just extended a bit. Jesse's so good at winning those 50-50 balls. Uh, very, very aggressive, and that's what makes him a very effective midfielder. And, and he combines with Kevin Muck, and they're winning such a high percentage of those balls lately, and that's such a good sign. This is Mertz. Oh, beautiful little one-touch. Ball played down line. Dysart's running on. Looks strong. Poljack's coming late. Dice will cut the ball. There's Jesse. Oh, shot just over the bar. That was good. That was very good from the Panthers. It was a great transition. They won the ball off the free kick. Ten yards their side of the midline. 
Ball was played one time up the wing to Dicer. He, he got the end line and cut it back for Jesse and just, just couldn't keep it down. Oh, it was beautiful. There were so many good things to see there, so many good things to talk about. The first thing was Robbie Mertz has a great sense of when to play the ball, and he gets that ball to hold up. He, you know, I think it's a hard thing to do on turf. He does it very well. And, uh, and, and Ethan Dicer was so patient. He stopped, waited, saw the run, delivered a beautiful ball. Jesse made a great run near post, just hit uh, high over the bar, but... Really good stuff from the Panthers from a possession standpoint. Dicer again on the left flank. What did they and call? Call Robbie offsides on that far side. Uh, he was in behind the Trinity defender before Ethan passed him the ball. So gotcha. That's a type of offsides you don't necessarily mind seeing. Uh, an aggressive type of offsides where you're trying to gain an advantage. Kurtunka coming well, into good the cross. area. Nice footwork, trying to get the end line. Crosses back. Oh, Dysert hits the bar. Ethan there was reaching for that ball, got under it, and even though he's uh, eight or ten yards off the off the uh, or from the goal, the ball went up, hit the bar, came back down into play. So we're still going at it here. Boy, that was great stuff from John Gertunka. Did you see his patience? He crossed over twice and then made a, a far post run just to the outside, just so he could cross it. Here's here's a little replay. Dysert just off the bar. That was the inside of the bar, too. That almost went down. Yeah, that was, that was about as close as you can get. So the Panthers are going to bring it back in. We got 15 minutes left in the first half. The Panthers on goals by Joel Hart and, um, Matt, Kiernan. and Matt Kiernan lead the Hillers 2 to nothing here. I'm looking for more. We've had a couple bars hit here, had some great opportunities. Uh, the Panthers have really dominated territorially and possession. This is Matt Kiernan with a lot of space. Now he runs out looking to cross it over. Plays the simple ball. Little Oh, nice stuff from Jonathan Erdman. His touch deserted him a bit there, and here come the Hillers. Playing it up, Joe Conlon. Calmly out of his box here, zipping. Plays wide to Mike Worthy. Back to Blake, back to Worthy on the far side. Muck at midfield. Carries the ball wide. Tries to beat one man. Pulls it back. Crosses, but that's cleared. Worthy finds it top of the D. Shot, and it's deflected over the bar, so that'll go for a... Panther corner kick. Yeah, Mike settled it. You could tell he had had visions to get one there. He was pushing forward, but unfortunately it deflected off the Hiller defender, so we do have another corner kick. Panthers have been extremely dangerous in these type of situations, whether it be deep set pieces or corners. And Dice. this is Dicer. That's a beauty. Third straight up in the air. That's good. That'll be another corner. Ethan will just stay there and hit another one. The Hiller goalie would have been better suited to just kind of come out there and communicate and go grab that. They're under siege right now. Mertz, volley. Oh, oh just wide. It's still it in, stays though. stays in. Dicer to in front, deflected and off the goalie's hand and in. That's beautiful. Ball in. Did we... I was trying to see if the... I, I couldn't believe it. He did not call offsides. I don't think there was a guy standing on the on the far post on well, the goal and line. And the ball, was, the ball was in front of Gertunka, I think, the whole time. So he was he was able to stay onside due to the position of the ball. Oh, Here's yep. the replay. You can see Gertunka in front with just a deft little deflection of that ball off of the Trinity goalie's hand and into the far post. Yeah, I mean, John Gertunka... Uh, did well with that because sometimes it's hard to turn that ball. So he kind of let the you know let the cross do the work. He just sort of touched it with the inside of his foot, and that was really good stuff. And Ethan Dicer with a, a very solid secondary cross. They almost got a first one with Robbie Mertz hitting that, trying to half volley the first uh, attempt. So the Panthers get their third goal, and it's John Gertunka. Now the Panthers back on the attack here. Nice little turn here. Muck's got a bit of space, playing a little ball to Robbie Mertz. Oh, boy, he this goes is dangerous. Through to Dysart. Oh, great, great save. save. Good save. That was great. Muck played a 30-yard ball right onto Robbie's foot uh, at the top of the D. 
He delayed a little bit, waited for Ethan's run to develop, played it through to him, and he got a good good opportunity on goal there. Yeah, it was a clever run from Ethan, and uh, I give Trinity's goalie credit because he came way out to cut off that angle, didn't give Ethan as much room to shoot at. Ethan hit a pretty good shot off, but uh, the goalie was up to the challenge, but really two very nice passes in a row led to that. Well, we talked about it before. If, if we're patient and work hard off of the ball with these runs that we're seeing, we will break these guys down all night long. So um, here's Ethan on the near side. That ball was out of bounds, though, so that'll go for a Hiller throw. And I think you're starting to see the Hillers, um, at least some of their midfielders and such, uh, wear down a little bit because they've been chasing the entire half, and that is really a difficult posture to play. You just you automatically sort of wear down and tire doing that for you know 40 minutes of soccer. Well, and frankly, too, the, the further you get down on the scoreboard, the more demoralizing that is. Here's Wesley give and go with Muck, trying to find Dysert's feet, but can't do it. Troy Kiernan. Wes in the middle. He's looking to shoot. Plays it to Troy. Got a man wide. Mertz will collect the ball. Finds Muck in the middle. To Gertonka, top of the D. Tries to work a give and go with Dysert, but couldn't get the first leg on target there. Muck will win the ball near side. That's touched over the line for a Trinity throw. Panthers defenders trying to get into the attack here. They're smelling blood. Looks like we're going to have another change for the Panthers. Now you've got wholesale here. We have like a line Some of the change seniors going. Back in the game. It was like Hart, Pazone, Mackey. And uh, probably Matt Kiernan coming back in. Although my eyes are failing me too. Yeah, there's yeah. no, there's no <laughs> chance for me, no chance for me to see numbers over there. None. Oh, this is a beautiful little ball. Nicely done. Oh, he just put it over the bar. Great timing on the run there. The Panthers got caught napping a little bit on the uh, on their posture on the back side, and that was a good opportunity. Conlon came off his line, was in good position, and they he put it harmlessly over the bar for a Panther goal kick. That was the first. A uh, good scoring opportunity for the Hillers tonight. Well, it looks like we're going to have Hart and Pizone up top in the middle. Robbie Mertz will move into the attacking midfield slot. Mackey on the right, Kiernan on the left. Troy Kiernan will slide back into the holding midfield, and they'll keep the back four the same. Ball play four to Mackey. That's a nice ball. See him running the defense here. He's going to cross early for Hart. There he is. Ball put Ooh. on on net, but right to the Trinity keeper. It was a good sequence there. Again, coming from our back line all the way to the front of the Trinity goal uh, with just three or four passes. And it's simple stuff. You don't need to do anything crazy. It's just those simple passes, keeping possession, working forward gradually. Here's a little give and go. Now played back. A lot of space here. Robbie Mertz has it. Touches wide to Stephen Mackey. Mackey, Mackey oh. early. Oh, boy. <laughs> he... he I'm not sure whether he intended to go for goal there, but that was a very dangerous shot. Ended up uh, hitting off of the, the football crossbar, so that's out for a Trinity goal kick. If he saw him uh, cheating, if he saw the goalie cheating out and tried to play that ball, sort of chip him, he did a phenomenal job of it. That ball almost dipped in time. I think it hit the football crossbar for a goal kick. Um, it was hard to tell whether he was, that was his, you know, that was what he was going for there. It was just a, a cross attempt. Some battle in the midfield here. Kiernan wide to Pizone on the near side. He'll carry, take some space to Hart. Lays off for Mertz. Wasn't quite on target, so Pizone, nice work to win that ball back. Mackey's going to switch fields, try to find Mack Kiernan, but that ball will go out over the far touch line. So Trinity throwing the ball in. Let's see if we can lock it in and win possession back. Mertz settles, he's carrying the ball. Plays to Kiernan running towards the middle, to Mackey who checked back. Mackey to Troy Kiernan. Wide to Erdman who's overlapping. Oh. Erdman has a go. Well he did I think the same thing there. He sort of saw the goalie cheating out uh, overplaying the cross which frankly as good as the Panthers crosses have been this evening I see why and tried to tried to shoot it low and yeah. hard for the near post right the the, the uh, Trinity goalie had left three quarters of the near post goal wide open so that was definitely there Pizone wins to Kiernan on the left he takes a shot left footed 
deflects off the Trinity goalie's chest, but he'll collect it in front of an onrushing Joel Hart there. That was a nice hard strike left-footed from Matty Kiernan. Mertz wins this ball in the midfield, settles it down. He's going to carry, takes some space. He's got Mackey right, slides the ball through. A little miscommunication. I think Joel thought maybe Steven was going to run onto that one, but he was the he was the closer man. Yeah, either that or he was holding up because he thought he would be off sides. Uh. Herdman wins the goalie punt, heads back to Burdett. To Troy Kiernan, middle of the field. Worthy finds Mertz. He's going to turn. He got a lot of space. Again, he's going to carry. Commit the defender. Plays through for Mackey on a nice run. He's going to be able to get this ball in. He does. Slots it through. Oh, there's Joel Hart. <laughs> Shoots it right into the goalie's stomach. Well done by the Trinity goalie there. He was on the ground, dead to rights, <laughs> and the ball got shot into his stomach. He was able to hold on to it. Joel's got to be feeling a little snake bit at this point. He's had some great <laughs> opportunities here. How about that build up though? Through, oh, beautiful. Through the back, into the midfield. Nice pass through. We got a one-time early cross. That, that, that's, that's what you want to see. That's well, beautiful soccer. I like to see, uh, the one thing I really like to see out of that was, did you see the communication between Mertz and Mackey? Uh, Robbie was carrying. He was just sort of waiting, like almost making eye contact. When are you going to make the run? And the minute he made the run, the ball was played. It was great timing, great communication. Well, I'd like to see more of that. Absolutely. Pizone's feet. Back to Burdett. Need to switch the fields here if we can. There, Dawn plays to Worthy. To Kiernan in the middle. He'll go long through to Mackey. He's going to get on the end of this just inside the penalty area. Crosses through to defender's leg. No one home at mid-goal. Mertz coming back to compete for this one. He'll win it back to Erdman. To Burdett. Troy Kiernan will turn back to Worthy. Worthy at midfield. Finds Mackey, who plays early. Not able to be cleared by Trinity, so St. Clair wins possession. Mike Worthy is going to have a go from 35. That ball's deflected over the end line for St. Clair corner. Matt Kiernan's going to come across to take this. And once again, the Panthers have created great opportunities off of their corner kicks. Regardless who's taking them, Kiernan's taking some, Dysart's taking some. We've seen some really quality uh, corner kicks here. Kiernan serves. Well done by the Trinity keeper to come out and take what would have been a sure header away from Mike Worthy. So with three and a half minutes left in the first half, St. Clair leads on goals by Matt Kiernan, Joel Hart, John Gertunka. like Coach Schneider might be content to keep this lineup on the field through the half here. Doesn't look like he's going to make any more changes. But we still got a, we still got some seniors out there who uh, we need to get some love for. <laughs> That's the key. Fazone and Poljack are up front here and Mackey there. Got to like to get those seniors on the board. It's going to be a high boot on Robbie Mertz and this is Hiller's got a little dangerous. It's not, it's not easy for Robbie to get called for high kick. There. No, that's that's a tribute to his flexibility if he can get his foot up there. So a dangerous play. This will be indirect, which uh, means it cannot be hit directly into the goal. Must touch another player before it goes into the net. Oh, it's ball a nice serve, little chip. Nice ball. Mike Worthy gets ahead on that, but not cleared. Erdman finally gets a foot to it and clears it near midfield. Trinity makes a nice play, though, to keep it in. This will go to goalie Conlon. On the jump will win that. He'll come out for goalie. He throws it wide for Kiernan. Blake overlapping. He plays to Blake. Carrying to midfield. Troy Kiernan now at midfield. Wide for Erdman. Takes it nicely off his chest. Near side here to Pizone. Plays to the corner for Mackey. Can he get there? He does. Cuts the ball back. There's Joel Hart again. He's taken down the area. No call. With three nothing lead. You're not going to get no, that call not, very often. You're not getting any love in that situation. Pizone, hard work again, wins the ball back. But Trinity can get possession. This will come into Troy Kiernan, that holding mid position. To Worthy. 
Tries to back heel again. Let's keep it simple. Play where you're facing. To Burdett. Kiernan. Hart. Nice Kiernan. touch. Good give and go work there. Kiernan plays over top for Mackey. He's going to have a go and does, but doesn't quite get get the uh, power he wanted on that shot. So it dribbles into the Trinity goalie. I'll give the Trinity goalie some credit this half. He's, <laughs> he's hung in there and has actually saved a few shots that, uh, that otherwise could have gone in. Well, he's been under a ton of duress here, and his positioning's been really good, which uh, that's you know half the battle in trying to make some of those saves. But he's, he's been strong. Panthers could have a lot more goals if he didn't make a couple of these saves. Here, here's Worthy. Less than a minute now, 30 seconds. Kiernan carrying the ball wide to Mackey. He's got Pizone and Mertz making a run. He serves it with his left foot towards Hart in the middle. That's going to be flicked over. Matt Kiernan trying to win possession in the corner, which he does. Plays back for Blake. He has a go with his right foot. Wow. And buries it. What a nice shot from Garrett Blake. Garrett really only had one thought there when he got that ball from Matt, and he was going to have a go, and uh, that worked out well for the Panthers. Well, so. abs absolutely. The, uh, the Hiller goalie we've talked to a couple times has been real aggressive coming out off his line. He might have ventured too far out of cage there, and Blake ripped that. Is that Garrett's first varsity goal? That is Garrett's first goal, yes. So <laughs> freshman Garrett Blake on the board, his first varsity goal, and the Panthers... To, we'll, uh, with 10 seconds left here in the first half, we'll take a 4-0 lead into halftime over the Hillers. Some really good stuff from the Panthers in the first half here. 10 seconds left. So again, Panthers with a 4-0 lead. Goals by Matt Kiernan, Joel Hart, John Kratonka, and a late one by Garrett Blake. All right, so good stuff. Quality uh, soccer pretty much from start to finish in the first half for the Panthers, and they will take a 4-0 lead. We will see in the second half. Excellent. Okay, welcome back to the second half here of Senior Night, our Senior Night broadcast. The Panthers took a uh, commanding 4-0 lead at the break against the uh, visiting Trinity Hillers. Really uh, domination from start to finish. Uh, great possession, great territorial advantage by the Panthers, and and. Probably most importantly, great patience in terms of the quality of balls they're playing in the final third. Yeah, it's been it's been nice to see that. And we said all year long, same thing, that we are a team that is certainly capable of playing that brand of soccer. And uh, they're showing it tonight, so it's fun to watch. Now, now the last remaining domino uh, to put in place here for the Panthers is we've got some seniors, and uh, one thing you like to see on senior night is to get as many uh, seniors on the scoreboard as possible and so that is the uh, the remaining goal here I think what you'll see going forward if uh, my senior night experiences you know fall true here tonight you'll see some of them cheating forward them working hard to get certain individuals a goal and it's kind of fun that way senior night is uh, is a real special memory for a lot of these kids and of course they want to uh, get as many of their teammates who they've probably been playing with since they were young kids uh, on the scoreboard, so that'll be interesting to see, watch as we go forward. Here we go with the second half kick. Joel Hart <clears throat> cuts the ball back to Garrett Blake near side. To Worthy, they'll work the ball through the back. Out the other side to Erdman. Poljack lays it off to Burdett, who carries to midfield. Poljack to Gertunka. Got a man down, that is Gratunka. He got taken down after that pass. Yeah, a bit of a late challenge. So that'll be a free kick. Looks like Wes will step up from 40 yards out. Now that Wes is gonna go forward, the one advantage you have with Wes Burdett is he is tall, he's rangy, and he's athletic. He's dangerous on these set pieces in terms of a target guy. So Mike Worthy's gonna take it. Jesse tried to flick it on, he touches back. He can fire it from here. It's Kevin Muck again, and there it is. <laughs> Muck from 30 yards. Uh, laid off by Poljack. He just took his time, settled that ball down, and absolutely ripped it. Just blew it past from 30 yards, blew it past the Trinity keeper. Well, you've mentioned several times, Rob, that um, 
well, you know, some people, when they're shooting from that, that distance, it's a hopeful strike. Not with Kevin Muck. He has a great leg. He has great accuracy, and he puts great pace on the ball from back there. And he drilled that, buried it into the right corner of the net. And that's 5 nothing Panthers. Kevin Muck with a rip. And technically, that's off a set piece again. So uh, Jesse did a nice job there. Instead of trying to do something ridiculous, like flick it over his head, he just touched it back, laid it off, made the simple play, and Kevin Muck ripped that and left no doubt. I'm sure there was, uh, although we can't hear it up here, I'm sure there was some communication there from, from Kevin to, to Jesse. Hey, let me let me have a go here. Give me that. Give me a shot at it. Wide he, for Kertunka. He picks up the ball just inside the penalty area. Has a go with his left foot. That'll go high and wide of the goal. Boy, that, I don't know who played that. I think it was Matt Kieran. That was a beautiful little bending ball getting it on the outside. Trinity goal kick. Touched back in by Blake. Dysart quick to that one. Muck playing facilitator, switches fields. This is Gertunka looking for the give and go. Nice little give and go from Poljack. Got a man running on, plays it low. This is Pizone. Turns, hits it hard with his left foot. Beautiful stuff from Dom Pizone with his left foot leaving. No doubt side netter. Six, nothing Panthers. And another senior on the board, Dom Pizone off a... A really nice buildup by the Panthers again. Yeah, it was a good give and go out there. And Gertunka crossed that ball early. We saw Dom earlier in the game hit a ball off a turn uh, just off the post in the first half. And that time uh, got a little more on that, struck it with his laces, kept it down, put it right inside the far post. So it was a nice turning shot there by Dom. Love to see those seniors get on the board. Don Pizone getting rewarded for his work rate. He cut that ball off earlier to kind of keep it down there. And uh, that's just really what we've seen from Dom all year. But that was a really high quality finish. So this is Muck battling. Trinity's going to turn over the Panthers, looking to uh, get a little offense going themselves. Try to play a one two ball. They got a little space here, but Conlon safely off his line, aggressively. And the Panthers. Going to control it again. Blake, nice little bending ball. One touch by Muck. Looking for Matt Kiernan running down the sidelines. He's going to run over the Trinity player aggressively. and <laughs> he, he made no mistake about his intent to get to that ball there. Uh, there's a little bit of roadkill, Trinity roadkill. <laughs> I feel badly for that midfielder because he didn't have a chance. Matt uh, probably outweighs him about 50 pounds. Yeah, Matt Kiernan's a straight-line aggressive guy, and he really... He goes after balls with a vengeance. There's no hesitation whatsoever. So this will be Blake, and he's going to go deep with it. And Dysart anticipates it. And just like that, because he threw it longer than you'd you know, think he could as a, as a regular guy, he's going to get a deep throw here. And uh, as we've talked about numerous times, when Garrett Blake gets the ball here this deep in, in enemy territory, it is a dangerous, dangerous play for the Panthers. There it is deep. It's loose. Oh, my. That's off the football crossbar. Worthy on a volley. Uh, the fact, it's similar to the goal we scored the other day. Uh, volley right off of that throw-in. And, uh, you know, he's he's mad at himself that he didn't put that in. But that's not an easy shot. The ball coming across her body like that. And uh, that's not an easy shot. There it is. You see off of his foot on the replay. And into the football crossbar so he actually got good contact on that it was that's a difficult strike and uh, he just couldn't quite get it down it is he had to open up his body there to be able to get that ball on net and uh good effort oh uh, yeah mikey's got a lot of skill for a central defender i know he wants to get one here on senior night mikey scored many goals in his career so not quite as crucial but uh he definitely wanted that one good inside out ball here dicer gertunka touch in middle pole jack running on but cleared away by the Hillers. Ooh, nice little move, uh, getting through two guys from Trinity. Playing wide. Now touching middle, but nobody running forward there. And Joe Conlon, the junior keeper for the Panthers, controls, and he's going to punt it away, and he's going to boom it to midfield. Takes a big hop. 
Nice little flick by Pizone, or excuse me, by Dicer. Poljack's got some space. Ooh, good little ball. Can Gertunk could get there? He will. He heads it down to himself. Trying to cross it. Will win a Panther corner kick. Good effort from John Gertunka. That was a nice little one touch by Jesse, uh, touching that ball outside, keeping it in play. And John ran it down and will create a corner for the Panthers. Looks like Dicer's going to come over to take this. The short corner's on if they want to go that way. It's one play that they, I think, maybe have only tried. I've seen them try once this year. It's a short corner. Um, I don't know where they're just not confident with that. But it can be effective. Here's Muck again. Goes for the volley, keeps it down, but it's going to be a little wide. That took a little short hop on him. He had to sort of really stay over that exaggeratedly and kind of bounce it into the ground and plays it wide. He does, he does love that, though. You can tell he just his eyes light up in that situation. That ball's bouncing out to him. Yeah, that's his range, the 30 to 40 yard. That's his range. And, the, oh, yeah, the scoreboard, uh, we're having some technical difficulties. Don't worry, Mr. Callahan up there is the best in the business, and he will find <laughs> it. He'll, he'll he will settle things it. out. Yeah, yes. he'll, he'll settle it up. Whatever his problem, he will find it. Poljack with possession. Wide to Kiernan. Nice ball. We got Gertunke here with some space. Played, to, played wide. Erdman now putting it back in. Saying hi to our uh, cohort, Brett Davis, here. He's jealous that we're, we have actually have instant replay tonight. Yeah, he's real jealous. <laughs> we got we, we should we should give a special shout out, by the way, to our producer Glenn Ward in the truck. He's doing the job of about five people back there doing. He's he's got the switcher going, the replay, working several cameras. Our, our camera crew is doing a phenomenal job. You should see some of these shots. We're gonna have to take the padlock off at the doors in the back of the truck to let him out of there. Uh, <laughs> the I, end of the game. <laughs> I, I feel bad. I've been working with Glenn since high school. He's he, he's doing <laughs> what he's doing tonight. I wouldn't wish upon anybody. Take years off your life. This is a nice little give and go here. Pizone out to Gertunka. John with the yellow boots. Beautiful little cross. Oh, it's fumbled. Uh, oh, no. Ethan just <laughs> absolutely fanned on it. Uh, he just put it over the bar. The, the goalie had the ball in his gut, fumbled it. It was a hot potato. He drops it right into the path, Ethan, Ethan Dicer. But it was a bouncing ball. And as the ball was coming up, he struck it. And uh, that's a tough one, a, a rising ball. It's a tough one to keep down. We got about six or seven Panther subs here. Um, it, it, it's almost like we got like a line change going on here. And it's a bunch of the younger guys coming in. Robbie Mertz here is in the game in midfield, number Anthony 22. Anthony Pizone. Yeah, Anthony Pizone, number 23. Sam Looks like Russell. Sam Russell, number 25. Mm -hmm. Troy Kiernan, number 12 in the midfield. Uh, am I forgetting anybody here? Anthony goes quick throw to Robbie, lays it back to Ethan. Robbie will make a flat run. Ethan wants to atone for that miss. Oh, shoots it just wide of the near post from 20 yards out. I got to admit, I, I feel bad for the Trinity keeper at this point. He's getting, you know, there's a He's barrage. This is really difficult, really difficult position for him to be in. He has, uh, and by my estimation, he's performed admirably, though, tonight. He's, he's done everything he could to keep him, keep him in this game. You know, when you see that many crosses, you start cheating on the cross, then people start taking long shots. It's difficult. Robbie Mertz doing a nice job laying the ball off. Ooh, this is a nice little run. Troy's going to get called for a bit of a push. He made a nice run to get by the first couple guys, but there were just too many numbers in his way there. So right now we have Russell and Worthy, Burdett, and Hayden Bernhardt across the back. Oh, I didn't see Hayden come in. Another freshman in the lineup. Troy Kiernan's holding mid. Anthony Pizone, Robbie Mertz. And Gertunka at the midfield, and then Hart up top with Dysart. Hart lays off for Kiernan. Back to Burdett. Uh-oh. West touches back. Mike's going to get there with no problem, but a little bit of a miscommunication. Now touches wide to Hayden Bernhardt. Touches middle. Panther possessing still. Oh, nice little job winning the ball and gets pushed off it. Troy Kiernan will win a foul there for the Panthers, and... Looks like they're going to go back into the offensive mode here on this set piece. It's been worthy taking the most of these. Now he's just going to do a quick restart to Mertz. Robbie has it with a little room. Touches middle. This is Mike again. He's They're battling. Mike wants to turn and get a shot here. He does. Here comes the shot. Bouncing ball, but it's handled by Trinity Keeper. 
Mike wants one bad here. I'm rooting for him to get it. Definitely, definitely love to see Mikey get one here. This, this is. Well, they need to move him out of the back and put him up at attacking mid or something where he can get a few more opportunities. He's going to start pushing forward hard. I'll tell you right now. Here's Robbie at midfield. Nice touch. A little ball to the Flex outside. Flex on for Pizzone. And this is a nice little ball. Very nice from Anthony Pizzone. Joel Hart turning. Ah, oh, he was just off balance. Unfortunately, he was just off balance a little bit. The ball started rolling away from him. He had to sort of lean at it and poke it instead of getting a good piece behind it, and it sailed on him high and right. Nice little build up there. Two really nice balls, one from Anthony Pizzone, one from Robbie Mertz. We're, having, we're averaging a shot every 30 seconds here in this game, so... Well, that's my point. The, the Trinity goalie, I feel terrible for him. He's going to be seeing soccer balls flying at his head and his nightmares. Bernhard heads to midfield for Kiernan. Trigger Tonka on the far side. Back to Burdett. To Worthy. Plays into Dysart's feet. Good ball. Puts it wide for Anthony Pizzone. That'll go for a St. Clair throw. Pizzone plays for Mertz, looking to turn. Plays it back to Pizzone, to Dysart. Nice little move to get by one man. To Hart. Dysart again. He's off sides. It was close. You could see the guy kind of creeping behind him about the goal line of the football field, but going to get him. For an offsides call, so it will be a Hiller free kick here about at the goal line on that football field. And the Panthers have done a great job on these goal kicks to win them quickly and play it right back in and be dangerous again, and Russell does. To Troy Kiernan, the younger Kiernan brother, to the younger Pizone brother, this is Anthony. Nice little touch. He's on sides. No, he's not. He's Either. off again, Dysart. You know, the Panthers... Um, Need to just stay patient here. I know. I know they want to. Everyone wants to get in the game here and get forward. But um, you know they'll find it easier if they can play the ball through the back, draw the Trinity defense out a little bit instead of being so direct. Uh, it gets too clogged up in there. If um, there's a ball from Mertz to Pizone, well tackled. Mertz keeps it in on the near sideline. Plays to Hart. Continues his run. Joel tries to play back for for Mertz, but uh, deflected away by the Trinity defender. Good step by Sam, Ru Sam Russell up winning that with his head. Now here comes Ethan. Looking for a far post run here. It's a nice little ball, Gertunka. Oh, he stepped on it, unfortunately. he I think he peeked to see where the goalie was, unfortunately, and lost sight of the ball. Yeah, you're right. Stepped right on top of the ball, rolled over top of it. And Dicer rips it. Go. Yes, it's saved. There's one for the keeper. Yeah, he's not very big, but his positioning has been very good. He's been very active. Robbie Mertz couldn't quite trap that. It's going to go out of bounds for a Hiller throw in here. <coughs> good aggressiveness by Anthony Pizzone. Mertz touches. Now Hart. Pizzone will keep it in. Playing with, oh, we got kind of unlucky there. Gets tripped up, and it will be a Panther free kick. Oh, we got a card. Yellow card to the Trinity defender. I guess the uh, referee judged that to be a little too careless of a foul. Yeah, it was a bit reckless, but maybe that was something he's – that kid's had a couple fouls. Maybe he'd been warned before, and that was just a bit reckless uh, based upon that. I didn't think anything of just the challenge itself. Worthy will serve this one. Looks like Mertz wants to talk him out of it. <laughs> no, they're just <laughs> chatting. You got a play going here. Oh, that ball just went wide on its own. Uh, Mertz and Hart were both breaking to that. Couldn't put, couldn't put a foot to it, but uh, it almost went in on its own without any help. Uh, that probably needs to be that needs to be flicked in. That that yeah. I mean, if they're not going to make a play on that ball, you need to need to score on that opportunity. That was very dangerous. No, Panthers going to reset it and try to come back in here. Again, don't don't hesitate.
to play the ball through the back and draw Trinity out a little bit. If you can see right now, their back line is up near the midline. There's plenty of space in behind them. Go ahead and keep the ball a little bit, work it through your back line, open up some space for your midfielders and forwards to play in. Plus, it's the, you know it's a good practice. It's the type of practice you want. It's what you're going to be doing, so practice the possession game. Nice little run here. He's on sides. Good man marking by Russell. Not out, though. It's touch middle. Kiernan touches back. Nice job by Conlon getting it back and up to Dysart. Here we go. Panthers looking to counter. This is Grutunka. That's a that's, uh, smart ball wide if he can get there. It was a good simple ball. He kind of you know, just played a simple square ball rather than trying to get crazy playing a through ball to one of the runners. Who, that's the type of gradual attack that was going to result in something good had Anthony been able to get there. This is Pizone, now worthy, creeping forward. Robbie plays nice it to him. to Mike. Oh, he was going for the back post there. Couldn't quite keep it inside there. Those two are, are, are looks looks like they're strategizing together, Rob, the freshman and the senior. I'm, they have a little give and go, a couple plays here together. Hopefully that can result in Mikey getting one here. Yeah, I'm sure the boys on the field sense that Mike wants to get a goal, so. Oh, Mike's been so good out. for so long, uh, you know, playing for essentially four years that you know, I, I think it hits you all at once sometimes on senior night. Wow, this is, you know, this is it. So, Kurtunk on the far side makes a nice move to turn his defender. Plays to the back post. There's Anthony Pizzone. Joel Hart turns and puts it in underneath the arm of the diving goalie. So that was well done by John on the far side to beat his defender, cross the ball over to Anthony, who touched it back into the middle. Here's a replay. You'll see uh, John. Actually, you'll see the finish by Joel Hart there. He was able to just turn and hit that ball into what was a relatively open net. I will say this. John Gertunkas had a really strong evening in terms of being able to control the ball down the, down the wing. He's been on the right side primarily and beating the guy, getting an angle, and turning the ball with quality. Uh, and, and it's been really good to see that out of John. He's done a very nice job, been very dangerous all night. So Russell turns and touches. Couldn't possess that ball and keep it down, and so will be a hiller uh, throwing. We've got 22 and a half left in this game. The Panthers with a 7-0 commanding lead here on senior night and looking for more, looking to get all their seniors on the board here. I should point out we've not seen Stephen Mackey come back in the game since subbed out in the first half, which concerns me a bit since he had just come back from injury. This is Anthony Pizzone. Oh, boy, Dysart couldn't quite get over that ball and keep it down with his left foot on the cross, but it was good stuff from Anthony Pizzone up the wing. Yeah, Anth uh, started that play and just kept his run going, expecting to get a ball back, and he did get a ball back. So I hope, the, I hope uh, senior Stephen Mackey is okay and they're just sort of for, for precautionary reasons, taking him out. Uh, they're going to need him Thursday against uh, the Peters Township Indians in the big rematch. It's loose here. Yeah, that's going to be a fun game. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. If I don't know when this is going to be broadcast for the first time, but if it's broadcast uh, tomorrow night, for example, Thursday, that is a big game, the 13th against Peters Township, the rematch. Please get here if you can. Beautiful stuff from Robbie Mertz. It's loose. Oh, Anthony Pizzone <laughs> rips it, but high and wide to the right. That's heading for the tennis courts. <laughs> yeah, he got all he got all of that. Yeah, good work out on the right flank from Mertz and cross that ball in. Dicer was tried to have a go at it, but it ended up falling to Anthony and hits it just wide and high. A couple changes for Trinity here. And um St. Clair looking like they might make some changes soon, too. Maybe uh, see a, a different goalie for the first time this season. Now touches Martz. Oh, nice little ball. Clever to Gertunka. Deflected off the defender, but he couldn't quite get a goal kick out of it. Got a little unlucky. It just sort of trickled along the goal line to the Trinity keeper. Now he plays it up the wing. Bernhardt wins that one. Hayden's got so much athleticism for a freshman. T 
tall and athletic. Can't really teach those things. He's an athletic freak. <laughs> Certainly is. Fun to watch. So Trinity's playing some possession here. That's good to see them trying to play a little possession forward. Here they're carrying. And a shot on goal. Joe Conlon up to the challenge. And he's going to look to trigger some offense here. Going with a big high punt. It's going to go all the way forward to Hart. Trying to play it to Mertz running on. Pizone running onto it. Now Robbie Mertz has a lot of space here. Going to try to play the ball. Oh, he's got Kertunker running onto it. John's going to get there. Defended well. Kertunker with great effort trying to break up any counterattack opportunity, but it will go out of bounds for a Hiller throw. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see Shane Sibley coming into the game on the next sub. Mertz on the right flank. Ooh, fancy, and this is a nice ball, but the, oh, the Hiller goalie spills it out of bounds. It will be another Panther corner kick. Yeah, Shane Sibley does look like he's coming in. Uh, Shane got his first varsity goal not too long ago. And we are going to have a goalie change here. Will Petley will come in for Joe Conlon. Good for him to get some varsity time. What grade is Will? Will is a sophomore. Good. Joe gets a nice round of applause. He's outstanding this year and certainly deserves it. Dysart plays in. Hart looking for the header. It's cleared by Trinity over the near touch line. Joel Hart's so, looking for the hat trick, huh? He is. He's working on three. Wes was going to take the throw, but uh, Joel Hart will be subbed out. Shane Sibley coming up top for him. Touches back. Here's Wes. <laughs> Worthy has it. Is he going to go direct? No, but it's a beautiful bending ball. And uh, Trinity timed their offsides trap well, according to the side official. I'm not sure. I think uh, the Panthers timed their run well, to be honest. But that was a beautiful bending ball by Worthy. Well, it is tough to judge when a ball has been served. You see a man in behind the defense, and it's tough to judge that. But frankly, that's their job. <laughs> and it's, uh, you know, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. We had a great angle. <laughs> yeah, I don't right. think he was right. <laughs> Worthy has it here. A lot of time. Plays Finds here. Merch. He's going to turn, take some space off the dribble. Looking through for Gatunka. Dysert ends up with it in the corner. Lays it back for Burdett. To Mertz. Shot. Oh, <laughs> off the crossbar. He's well struck. Here comes Pizone on his side volley. Ball's deflected back out near midfield. Troy Kiernan battling for it. Boy, beautiful little bending strike by Robbie Mertz. Goes off the uh, crossbar. Dicer made a nice little turn there. A lot of space in the middle. Robbie hit it well. Got a little unfortunate. Here's Burdett pushing forward now. To Mertz. To Gertonko on the right flank. He plays to Burdett. And he was fouled, John, just as he let that ball go. Somehow they're calling John for the foul. Oh, how about that? <laughs> he's the one laying on the ground in pain, and he's the one committed the foul. Okay. So that'll be a Trinity free kick. When you get up 7 nothing, you don't get a whole lot of favors generally. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to get much love from the refs. Good step from Bernhardt. Trinity controls. Trying to do this. Is a good ball, touching wide. Sam Russell, good shield. And all right, Will does a nice job with his first touch, coming off his line aggressively and gathering it with no bobble. See if the Panthers can turn this. It was flicked, but that's what we want to see. Play it down to the feet. Rob has it. Simple square ball. Mike's got a lot of room here. Let's see if he lets one fly. He's going to have a go. Just wide Just to the wide. left. He's got 15 minutes. I'm, uh, I'm betting he's going to get one. So we got more subs for the Panthers. John Erdman coming in. And I believe that's Tommy O'Connor. 
Haven't seen him in quite a while. He's been injured a large portion of the year, so nice to see him back. Hopefully he's healthy and ready to go for the playoffs. And Ethan Dicer and Wes Burdett will leave. O'Connor on the right flank. Can't quite keep it in. It will be Hiller throw. Mertz back to Bernhardt. Double pass back to Mertz. Plays to O'Connor. Continues his run. Trips over the ball, but gets up and gets it back. Ball still in. Gertunka using all that right side. Oh, that is Gertunka out there. I'm sorry. I thought that was O'Connor. I can't tell numbers. <laughs> the only thing I can tell is that he has those yellow boots, and he's the one kid I can tell where he is at all time. Shane Sibley. Good little turn. Touches forward, and look who it is. It's Mike again. And he plays it low on the ground. Keeper, no problem. We've got 14 minutes left. Panthers up by a touchdown. Sam Russell, the sophomore defender, battling, winning it. Panthers will uh, now touch all the way back to the keeper. Setting up the attack here. Russell plays forward. That was a late tackle. Give and go from Worthy. Can't quite find Pizone. Erdman runs on and wins it back. Good job from Jonathan. Worthy touches forward to Erdman. Now back to Worthy. Mike's got a lot of space. Touches to Robbie Mertz. Mertz going direct here. Got Kurtunka. It's right on target. Trinity defender cannot turn it. It will be a Panther throw deep in Hiller territory. Gertunka to Mertz. Nice. Right back to Gertunka. Oh, he's got him. Oh, oh. nice save. He well saved. Gertunka came in, played a uh, ball to Mertz off the throw and gave it right back to him and was able to, John was able to beat two defenders and get the ball and slot it right into Sibley's feet. Uh, he had the... Uh, top half of the net targeted there, but the goalie reached up and made a nice save to parry away. Mertz gets the end line, cuts it over to Worthy. Oh! <laughs> he gets a head on him, but the Trinity keeper in the Johnny on the spot there just was able to scoop that one up. That was unfortunate. I thought that for sure was going in. I don't know how Robbie kept that ball in bounds. He didn't There's Worthy. Room. Looking to touch over. <laughs> He's starting to chuckle about it now. It's coming, though. Back to Russell. Midfield for Erdman, who's playing that holding mid position right now. Nice ball from Worthy. This is Gertunka. Play nope, ball uh, bounced he up. Handled it. Yeah, hit his hand. Ball was served in. He got in behind his defender, but uh, off the first bounce, the ball came up and hit him right in the hand. Yeah, it was a beautiful little ball. John's done a great job down that wing tonight trapping those balls. Unfortunately, that one just took kind of a hop to turf hop, I guess. Ripped up. Robbie couldn't quite get it with his foot. Hayden comes on. Stops the counterattack, but it will go out of bounds for a Hiller's throw. And... Trinity getting some uh, subs going on, getting making sure uh, getting guys back in the lineup, and the Panthers too. And uh, is that Mike coming out finally? That is Mike Worthy coming off. Been an outstanding, outstanding career for Mike Worthy, the senior. Wes Burdett will check back in. And and frankly, as, as much as you want to you know have fun and, and get goals on senior night, there's a, a more important battle to be fought on Thursday and need everybody healthy. Yeah, healthy and rested. Um, don't want to get worn out too much in this game. I'm sure practice tomorrow will be of the, the light variety, and they'll be ready to go. Big pasta dinner at the Pole Jacks tomorrow night. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. How do I get invited to that? I don't know. I would, I'm going to have to I go bribe Mark. 
Actually, the girls got a big match tomorrow night uh, against Moon, Absolutely. the only team that has beaten them. Uh, really, that game, for almost everybody I talked to said that game kind of went against the flow of play. Um, their girls are really looking forward to trying to get them back. As West puts one low and on net, it is saved by the Trinity Keeper. See, everybody should come out and support the girls tomorrow night, too. It is, uh, they're having a fantastic season, and uh, they're going to try to avenge their only loss and get capture a uh, section championship themselves. Right. Uh, if they win, they if they win that game. They'll they'll win the section. Be really nice to see uh, boys and girls section champs because, as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast, with this win tonight, the Upper St. Clair Panthers are going to be at least a share of the section champs championship. Got a chance to win it outright tomorrow night. Trinity on the break, but Hayden does a great job recovering to close his man and and win that ball back. By the way, a did you know the last time the Panthers won the section championship, they went on to uh, capture a couple other uh, championships <laughs> that are. Yeah, that, that was a heck of a year. Um, that was the, the undefeated second state championship in a row year. Not only that, nobody came within one goal of beating them. They won each, each game by at least two goals. Unbelievable. Incredible. Unbelievable. So it's going to actually be a Panther throw. Bounced up and hit the Hiller midfielder in the chests. And another sub for the Panthers. And is that is that Matt Kiernan coming back in? <coughs> that is uh, oh, no, that's Ethan. Ethan Dicer coming back in. So just under nine minutes remaining in the game. Panthers up 7-0. Ethan's just trying to get the rust off, and so that's probably why he's getting minutes. He's a very important guy going forward. Rob gets tackled there in midfield. Panthers with a free kick right at midfield. Troy Kiernan will handle the duties here. Plays long into Dysert's chest. He's going to turn with it. He's given room to turn. But that ball will be cleared back near midfield. Headed on and Troy Kiernan will Flick it out to Sam, who goes to Anthony on the near side. To Gertunka. Tried to give and go, but that was Redwell. Russell comes up to win it. Forward to Pizone. Nice ball by Gertunka. He's on. Ooh, nice strike. Ethan turned that well. Got a good piece of it. But again, the Trinity keeper, who's got to be nearing a section record for saves in a game. <laughs> Yeah, he's had a lot of work to do tonight. Oh, boy, poor clearance, and Sibley's going to touch it right back in. St. Clair throw near the midline. Burdette back to Troy Kiernan. Wide near side to Sam Russell. Back to Will Petley, the keeper. He'll switch it back out to Bernhard. He gets, he's going to carry it up the right side. No, oh, it's loose. It struck well. Just wide. Yeah, the Panthers a little sloppy there. and Who can blame them at this point <laughs> in the game? Petley had he had the near post covered though. Had that been on cage, he has it, and uh, that's good positioning. Obviously, you, you could be easily uh, excused for sort of falling asleep, not thinking you're going to get any opportunities. But he did, Will did a nice job, you know, getting coverage there. Goal kick by Troy Kiernan out to midfield. Throw in St. Clair. Panthers looking to reestablish some possession there. Big long throw from Burdett, who also has a great long throw in. Yeah, it's nice to have two guys on the team that can handle those duties. Yeah. 
Hayden tried to carry the ball out of trouble on the far side. That's a nice touch right there. Robbie does a nice job. Carrying keep through. He flicks it on to Sibley. He wasn't quite on the same page there. Burdett trying to turn. Oh, nice Plays little back here. for Erdman. Gets a big piece of the Trinity defender on that tackle. I'm surprised he didn't get, <laughs> get whistled for that one. Yeah, I am too. Maybe they set advantage. Wide for Sibley. Credit to Trinity. They're still playing hard. Absolutely. Still trying to win all the 50-50 balls. I'm sure they'd like nothing more than to get one on the scoreboard. Good ball, and here comes West forward with a lot of space. Touches to Robbie Mertz. Robbie looking for Shane Sibley, streaking down that sideline. Trinity defender does a nice job shielding. Going to try to turn it. Cannot do so, and it will be a Panther throw. Shane's going to uh, look to what they substitution. Oh, so Don Pizone coming back in the game. And who's coming out? Not sure. No one yet. And someone came off. Uh, we must have missed it. Yeah. I wonder if somebody was hurt. Nice touch by Wes. Dysert has it. Let's fire. Can't keep it down. It goes over the bar for a Trinity goal kick. Ethan's getting frustrated. He's, you know, it's his first game back, and he's not striking it with as much quality as he's used to and he's, you can tell he's getting frustrated but it's good for him to come out get some minutes in here get some of the rust off and hopefully uh come back healthy on thursday yeah come back ready to put a dagger in him on thursday which he did last time header won by mertz dice are running on second ball trinity throw at midfield It's been a beautiful night here, weather-wise. Got very lucky. We've been really lucky this night. fall. We have. We've had very, very nice weather. I mean, there have been very few really chilly nights or, or rain or any sort of uh, terrible conditions for soccer. It's been, you know, and that helps the more skilled team generally, and the Panthers are usually that. This is Sibley up the wing. Shane's got a little space here. Nice little ball playing up. Step over by the Panthers. And create a throw-in. We got two and a half minutes left in this contest on senior night. Panthers with a 7-0 lead. Martz throws it in. Nice little ball here. Lots of space. Flick up from Pizone to Sibley on the wing. Shane battles and wins another Panther throw-in. Mertz fakes and throws back to Burdett. He's got a lot of space here. Nice little ball to Sibley. Turns, looking to put on. Oh, nice little ball. He lays it off. It's played low. It's still loose. Headed in. Pizone still has it. Loses his footing. It's loose again. Pizone trying to strike it with his left foot. Miss hits it over the bar. And another Hiller goal kick. Well, let's see. How many seniors we have on the field here? I don't think we have many. Spazone, maybe. See if we can get him a goal in the last minute and a half. Yeah, fortunately, Dom has one. But, uh, boy, it's, it, you know, you, you got a minute and a half left here, and you, you just you, you want to take this opportunity if you're the young guys and really go up and, and, and shake the hands of your seniors. Yes, the season's not over. Yes, frankly, you even have one more home game. But uh, you know, there's, this, this senior class has meant a lot to the program and certainly meant a lot to this group of younger guys from a mentoring standpoint, from doing things the right way. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful season. Sibley trying to play the ball. He just couldn't settle. It was bouncing. And it will be another goal kick. Well, Gavin, I guess uh, that you and Brett will be doing the game on Thursday night. Brett Davis will be with Gavin on Thursday doing the Big Peters game. He's going to be begging him to bring all this equipment back. <laughs> yeah. No way. You're going to get a microphone and that's it, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, get, we get spoiled with all this all the camera angles and uh, the headsets and the monitor. Thirty seconds left in this one. Karen Chase.
case it fall down to the corner. I'll let that go out for a goal kick. That'll just about do it. So it's been everything you wanted tonight in terms of uh, on senior night. You send the seniors out in style. They really got to uh, have some fun tonight, enjoy playing with each other rather than being in one of those tight contests. Um, you hope you got out of the game injury free. I'm, I'm a bit worried about Stephen Mackey. And uh, more importantly, the Upper St. Clair Panthers are at the very least co-section champions in 2011. Congratulations to this Panther soccer team to capture their first section championship in seven years. An yeah, unbelievable accomplishment. It really is great. And uh, you know, at this point, no matter what happens Thursday, they win the section. So congratulations to them. So to, uh, to wrap it up for tonight, on senior night, the Upper St. Clair Panthers clinched. They share the section championship with a 7-0 win over the Trinity Hillers. For Rob Mertz, I'm Gavin Williams. Have a good night.